Hello and welcome viewers of AVG News. My name is Mkoli Sinube and we meet again in a different uh, program where we discuss business opportunities and there is a conference coming up. Uh, I'm hosting here today Mr. Carlos Manyatela who is having a business conference that is coming up. You will say more about it. Mr. Manyatela, welcome to the show. Thank you, Nube, for giving us the opportunity to have a chat over this thing. Yes, as you said, it's Carlos Manyatela. We are talking about the conference coming forth soon on the 4th of December. Yeah, uh, you heard it's on the 4th of December. Can you briefly tell us what the conference is all about and where it's going to be held, the time, and how do people get to be there? All right, now the the conference is on the 4th of December 2022, as we have said, it's on a Sunday. I know Sunday is a problem to some yes. people because they'll be from churches and all that. But um, looking at the, the situation and the people that are to attend, we then thought that, uh, no, Sunday is perfect. Not really perfect, but it at least, because it's accommodative to people. I cannot take a day off to go to the conference, though it is important to go to it. But giving Sunday one of the free days, we can sacrifice. So being on the 4th at Sunnyside Park Hotel, right before Johannesburg Hospital, as you go, Louis Potter, but soon after Hilpro, um, what is it, Fire Station. As you go down there, there is a hotel down there. So that's where we'll be meeting. And um, starting at 10 sharp to 4 o'clock, 10 is not the time to be there. 10 is the time to start the program of the day. So for accreditation, for such that you get in, it's worth it that you come way earlier such that you can be in on time. When you say, what is it about? Yes. I think there is much to discuss on what is it about. We can spend the whole day anyway. <laughs> but uh, briefly, the truth of the matter is, I've, I've heard people saying fact, but fact can be concocted. One thing that I believe is the truth rather than fact. Yes. The truth is, we are in a foreign land, the majority of us, if not, yeah, the majority of us. Being in a foreign land, there is a time where things must change. It can't always be the same. So reality has also reminded us, with using the Zimbabwe exemption permit, that uh, the talk of the day, they are to come to an end by June 2023. Yes. That's the reality on the ground. If anything happens, that would be a miracle. We can't wait for a miracle. We can as well have to plan before. In fact, I always believe that uh, because th this thing is coming to an end, I take it that I have been at school, that at least I should somehow get out of school and get to do something. This is my approach to this business conference we are talking about. It is an opportunity that comes after having been at school for the period spent whilst we are in a, in a foreign land. So the idea there is come, let's equip one another to do business other than continue being employed. That's the whole setup. Then anything else built under that, the idea is let's do business, personalize do business other than being employed. And what's the name of the conference and theme? The, the, the idea there is, the, the, in fact, the thematic thinking on the conference is you're making a very big mistake when you change life, only change to be employed, change to employ yourself. So the theme, thematic thinking or the reasoning around, you are making a very big mistake by not starting a business when you are changing life. Even if you are going to the UK, the majority of us are planning to go, you, hey, you, I mean, whatever, whatever. I was watching this other guy's channel also. Yes. He's in the UK. But he's saying, if you come this side, can you please come with the mind of doing business? Yeah. So then you ask yourself, okay, we have all been thinking if you go to the UK, you'll be making money. But this guy is saying, come with the mind of making business. So that means, whether you are in South Africa, whether you are in Malawi, Zambia, wherever, Zimbabwe, let's just change the thinking and do business for ourselves rather than being employed. So who will be speaking at this particular We do conference? have, yeah, we do have this eloquent, renowned guy. His name is uh, Brett Chulu. Brett Chulu uh, is a mathematician. He's an um, entrepreneur himself. He's actually based in Goblawa. He's not even in South Africa. He, he did the business management. He's more of an all-rounder. Though, if you get closer to him, his speciality where he makes his daily earning is into agribusiness. That's where he's directly earning. But because he has done business management, he's all round to give us the food to start from going up. So he, he will be the facilitator of the day. And can I also um, be quick to say, on the day we also had spoken to, to another company that produces the machines. You know, Zimbabwe is full of industries that are empty. Yes. And those industries of late, they are occupied by churches. 
So that means we can, we are able to go speak to the owners of those properties. And I buy my machine in South Africa is I go back home and be industries. So this company has come, is there in fact, is going to be there to give us what they have. The choice is yours who is going to attend to either go view and do whatever you do. But we have said, let them come and show you that these things are possible. Also, on the other hand, we do have a document. Well, sounds like impossible, but I'm telling you of the document that is there. With the 500 business options that you choose from. Within these 500, can I be quick also to say, at times it's easy to always think of capital when you do business, which is true. Yes. But I have a testimony of two scenarios in other areas and other people talking about it. People who had capital, but they didn't know how to do it. So the conference is also giving us the know-how. So you may have the know-how and you work for capital. When you get the capital, you know what to do. Yes. But it's dangerous to start with the capital without the know-how. You will abuse the capital. At the end of the day, what do you do with it? Nothing. So the, the conference has come to say, with the little that we get, somebody was, I was just listening to something earlier today. This guy says, I sold my house to make my business. And some, I, I work close to some company that is an agent for these cars. If you go to the story of those guys, they sold their properties, even went back to their family home when they were building their property. Mm. So at times you, 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 you get to a point where you, you sacrifice for the sake of the success you are going to do. So as we are, maybe we are going to go for UIF and our profit and fund and all that. It's nice to get home and buy everyone a Gucci. <laughs> But after buying them a Gucci, and the Gucci will be over, what next? So for me, uh, this conference has come to say, with the little that we can gather, you are not giving it to me. You are doing it for yourself. Yes. yes. Somehow you are breaking the bridge of black text. Because as you do right, your kids are not going to be a bad thing yes. Yes. when they have grown up. You have given them a future. So working for yourself is the way to go. Working for yourself is the way to go. And when we talk about... Uh, the people that I expected to attend. Who are your targets here? Who, who exactly are you targeting? Are you targeting ZEP holders? Are you targeting Zimbabweans, even those who are not documented? Who exactly are you targeting? In the main, what necessitated this idea was definitely the, the issue of the ZEP. Okay. That's, that's how this whole thing came about. Because I was looking at my life. And I said, in 2010, I went to Mloom and asked for money. He gave me money. What did I do with it? I thought I'm wise. I lost it. 2018, I did a similar thing. I went to the bank and I, I took money. What did I do? I lost the idea. Then they said, okay, man, where am I missing this? I then discovered that, no, I need to be equipped to know the direction. Therefore, the clientele to this, definitely, in the main, it is the Zimbabwe exemption permit. But I was happy to see your, your, your other interview with the Malawian guy who yes, was talking yes, about yes. that. Was, that was beautiful. And I said to myself, if the Malawians, as they say, the majority of them are skilled, they have, uh, they, they are competitors and all that and all that. They too are a clientele to this. Yes. I will tell you something. I know of a guy who is a Zimbabwe. He came to live in South Africa. He left South Africa to go to Malawi, to acquire land. Imagine this guy has gone to Malawi, everybody is coming from Malawi to South Africa. But he saw an opportunity to say, there is much land there. Let me go utilize. He's living large in Malawi, being a foreigner in Malawi from Zimbabwe, but having lived in South Africa where everybody thinks he all is well. So at times, this is not necessarily where you are. It can be the Britain all we want, but it cannot be beneficial as you may desire. Yes. Mindset. So the conference is to everyone. Malawians, come to the conference. It's still yours. So okay, can Zimbabwean, say come. Africans. South Africans. Yes. Okay. Everyone come. It's for you. And even one of the interesting part, I was speaking to one of the people that he once spoke to. They, they, they WhatsApped me. Um, I've forgotten their, their thing. But the entrepreneurial something, something. Yes. The, 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 I looked at the letter that they sent me. I said, wow, this is interesting. Their approach, of course, they have all worked out to say people come. I don't know how they would do it at the end of the day, but they are looking at mining, farming, ICT, blah, 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 blah. But we are saying, for this thing to work, first have individuality. Have confidence in you that I'm doing this. As you join all other organizations, we come with the like-minded people and the reason to get. And as we reason, imagine, let's say we want to build a warehouse in our in our community. But you are bringing somebody who doesn't have individuality. And this person doesn't know this is business. It must start from where it has to start. Only they are advancing. Let's have money. Let's, what for? Yeah. It must have a first start from where to start. The other audience to this are people who don't know if they can do business. Yeah. 
Yes. You know there are people who believe they have to be employed every day. That's true. That's true. <laughs> you who don't know you can do business car. When you leave the conference, I bet my last said you live knowing that you have the capacity to do business. For example, yeah. When you talk about, uh, especially the ZEP holders and Zimbabweans, uh, I've realized. And before you came in, I was doing a video mm -hmm. directed directly to Zimbabwe exemption payments holders yes. because. When we look at the channel, we post. You post about ZEP. Yes. You get the, the highest number of. Yes. Votes. You post that shows about, the worry that people post have. about business. No, nothing. You post <laughs> about politics, which brought us here. Yes. There is nothing. Yes. Why is there something wrong with us as Zimbabweans in our mindset? Somebody said, rich people are worried of the income. Poor, poor people are worried of the expenditure. Yes. That statement took me years to understand. It. I then looked at myself. I said, my worry. What stresses me much is the rent, food, looking after my kids, my wife, and my mom, and everything. So these are expenditure. Yes. That's what puts me under bed and sleepless nights because I'm worried of the expenditure. But where do I spend from? Because the issue, I have my mother to look after. Yes. But I have to have money to look after my mother. The rich person is worried of how to take the money in. That's why you will find them playing games, putting millions. They don't mind spending, they mind the income. Yes. So the worry that you see and the attention that you see people giving to the title of the ZEP, because they worry of the expenses, if we are taken out of South Africa, what will be our next? That's the worry. Yes, yes. If you speak of politics, different views may be there, but they don't really care. If you speak of business, they only really didn't care. But this is the solution to what worries them. Yes. Because one, one or the other, you, you, you might not, you might, there are people who didn't live Zimbabwe, but they're living large. Yes. And I know the argument will say because they are corrupt. Even here in South Africa, you are corrupt too. Corruption is just everywhere. Yes. So you, the, the level of arguing corruption is something else we can talk about it in the other day. But the truth of the matter, even if you are corrupt, there are some people who are corrupt, but they're not successful even in a foreign land where there is milk and honey. Yes. So the ground of corruption is, for me is not, is not sour. The issue is there are people who remained in Zimbabwe who are successful. I know of some guys who bought trucks, they have Vama Koyet. They even come to South Africa, they have it, but they are operating from Zimbabwe. So the issue is not going to Zimbabwe or not, the issue is, let's grow and build an idea of doing it for South. Can you also be an employer? That's the issue. Yeah. So in a way, this uh, conference is also set to change mindset. Yes. And it's changing yes. mindset. Yes. Yes. Okay. And how do people get there? Do I need to pay something? Do I need to produce something to be there? All right. You know, we are, we are going to be hosted by a hotel. This hotel, we approach them, they tell you they approach us. <laughs> yes, yes. So if you approach a hotel, obvious, there are bills yes. to be paid. Yes. Unfortunately, as you see me sitting here, I, it's not, I'm not a millionaire. So yes. I don't have somebody to fund this thing. Yes. The idea, I've seen comments from everywhere every else. People are saying, the idea is fine. Idea. The idea is always fine when it is, when it is only put into practice in yes. fulfilled. Yes. So the idea is here. I just brought the idea. But the idea also has the cost to cost to make it fulfilled. Yes. Five hundred land is what is the request to manage this thing. Yes. Five hundred land is a lot, my man. If you think of the domestic worker who is waiting who is working for let me not mention I almost mentioned the other class of people that don't pay. Yes. yes. Five hundred is a lot, I agree. But had it been that we are speaking to people who understand this logic of, of doing things. 1500 for the day was going to be relevant. Yeah. But we have come down because we are not expecting benefits out of this much, really. Because if you bring a 500, the access to these people that we have brought, you're not going to manage them with the 500. Yeah. You can't fly the guy from Zimbabwe to South Africa. Imagine the bus itself going to a powerhouse number to go to Gobla or 700, go to a 1000. Yeah. So 500 just for this one person, for you, you're not going to afford the person. So we are asking for a 500 land as an offering to have this program be a success yeah. and um, when you go to the bank you don't bring it cash there okay. you go to the bank you do the payment in the bank this is what i wish i can emphasize when you do your payment on the reference put your name policy yes carlos manyate whatever your name is and your surname. Yes. then after that you take the proof of payment you whatsapp it on the following now 065-898-4573 065-898-4573 When you WhatsApp the proof of payment also give me your name and your number 
and the contact number you are found. Don't expect me to guess the WhatsApp number you have wanted to be the exact. Even if it's the same, can you please reprint it and give it to us? Okay. Maybe I have to give the bank account. Okay. The bank account is from an FNB bank. The type is Fusion. The account holder is SN Love. Then the account number is 200 Then when we are done, the last day anyway that we expect people to do the payment being the cut-off day to give give the leeway really for anyone who is left behind is the exactly last day of the month, the 30th. Okay. So payment are to be done now. The earlier you do your payment, the earlier you help us to cement also the direction how many people do we have. Because if you all of you, thousands of you are going to pay on the last day, yeah, anyway, I accept. We'll have to run around and see. Don't be surprised we haven't changed the venue because the maximum there is quite limited, the number at the hotel. Yeah. So if you do payment and go beyond the number there, definitely we'll look for another place. But the earlier you do the payment, the better we know what exactly we're working with. Okay. And um, it's been a good uh, a, a insightful uh, interview. Mm -hmm. But uh, before we close, I would like to give you this opportunity in a minute to say any ways that you believe that people need to hear out there. Because at the end of the day, you have spoken about the ZEP that it is not going to be renewed. It might be renewed yes. miraculously, yes. but at the end of the day, whether it's renewed or, or not, not, life has to change. We still have to live after or with the ZEP. Yes. At the end of the day, our energy is going to run out yes. and we will need to have a fallback position. So please talk to them, tell them why they need to be at this conference. One of the things that I've also experienced and loved is that the life that has moved us from our countries to South Africa has been an advantage. I take it that I've been at the school, I've been at the university, had it been that I have time, I was going to share with you one of the laughable stories of my life. I came to South Africa not knowing what a CV is. I think this is something you can laugh at. <laughs> but I have learned to know what a CV is. So, I take it that somebody left Zimbabwe, left Malawi, not knowing to do painting, not knowing to do tiles, not knowing to do electricity, not knowing to do plumbing. But the life in the diaspora has taught you. Now that you have been in the university, don't you think you are graduated enough to go have your own thing where you are doing what you have been trained to do? Don't you think you are worthy now to have your own kitchen, your own restaurant? You have been in the restaurant for 10 years. Do you think you will continue to be in the restaurant? You still have the capacity and you are able to, to have your own restaurant. Do you think you have been in working in that company as a consultant, consulting for other people? Don't you think you can have your own consultant company? You can look for a product and still do it. Some of you have done social worker. Don't you think you can open your own thing that is in your space? Some people really have not managed to get much education. But there is time and it is you who is able to make a change and make life from what you have learned from diaspora and where else. Thank you South Africa for giving us an opportunity to be at school. Because we have learned a lot that had it been that we remained in one space, we are not going to learn. Now we have known a lot of things. Out of what we have learned, I'm, I'm a Christian anyway, one of the inspirations that I also get is from the Bible. When Israelites were captured in Babylon, when they left to go rebuild their city, they also left with what have. You are going to live with your UAF, can you be wise? You are going to live with your profit and fight. Can you be wise? Don't be scammed. A lot of scams are there. We are not saying we are scammed. We are not going to give, we are going to give you directions. You do it yourself. Please be wise. Make your life and change life and stop this black tax. It's possible to stop it and it's you who is to stop it and stop it now. Thank you. Hopefully we'll meet there and continue conversating over this. Thank you, Mr. Banyatela. Thank you. Uh, well, you heard it, ladies and gentlemen. It's only 500 for you to secure your future because at the end of the day, we're not going to be workers forever. We are not going to be in South Africa forever. And the anger that some South Africans are showing to us is an indication that South Africa on its own is going down. 20 years ago, they didn't care where you came from. They didn't care how many Zimbabweans are here. They didn't care how many Mozambicans are here. But because 
the bread and, bra and butter issues are no longer the same because the employment market is shrinking. South Africans are beginning to think who is here, why are they here when our kids are not employed. So at the end of the day, whether you decide to go back to Zimbabwe or Mozambique or Malawi or you decide to stay here, you need to be an employment creator. You need to be an employer. You cannot always compete for employment. So this is a chance for only 500 rand Go and hear how you can secure your future. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.